we just redid the entire exterior of our house. But there was one last project left to do, and I ended up doing something to it that is so cool that I had to make a video, because I think you might want to do it too. The exterior of our sort of 1968-ish ranch house has these really ugly support beams. I had no idea what to do with these beams. I don't want to emphasize them by painting them dark color. One idea I came up with is wrapping them with wood to create this sort of reclaimed post look. Turns out, for a variety of reasons, I couldn't do that. What I did figure out how to do is so cool. So, this is what the beams look like. They're just basic, boring pine, I guess. And then this is what they became. This was done using literally nothing but paint. And it is exactly the look that I wanted. The first thing you do is um, distress your wood. And you can use a variety of different tools. I have a multi-purpose thing. Hey, that's my multi-purpose thing. I know. Don't plant a really sharp cactus next to where you're planning to work. That's just a suggestion. This is so much sharper than it looks like it is. Oh, it, it looks, looks pretty, sharp. Uh, it looks pretty no, sharp. It really hurts. Ow! Ah. You take a hammer and you literally just whack it. It's spaced out wax. And then also you want to do stuff like this. Work it over and over in one place to create like sort of more of a dent. But you can also use the back of the hammer. Oh man, you're getting serious. Yep. Uh, I read somewhere online that you can take a bag of screws and whack it. I tried that, it did not work, so I, <laughs> the bag just exploded instantly and showered me. <laughs> really? Yeah. If you already have nice dark wood, I guess, lucky you. I don't, I have painted sort of a tan-ish yellow. So you start with dark wood color paint. The other things you need are a caramel color paint, like that, oh. and then black. This is just, I don't want to open it because I don't. This is just black. Um, you could pre thin the paint, but I'm lazy, so I'm just dipping in the paint, dipping in the water, and painting it off. All right, so now it looks something approximating actual dark wood, sort of, because it's dinged up and we have that sort of uh, thinned out dark paint on it. So the next thing that we're gonna do, real reclaimed wood, for some reason unbeknownst to me, tends to be lighter in the center. And so you take this caramel colored paint, again, you can thin it out. We're gonna do a stripe down the center. You don't have to be too precise. Oh, that's actually like cool. This is not like totally finished. I'm gonna go into it with the light color and the dark color a bunch more times just to give it sort of more shading. Mm -hmm. But this is the really fun part for me. Is this dorky? Uh, yeah. Oh. So you're gonna take this black paint and if you look at actual old, old barn wood, inside these, all these dents, it's actually very dark. I'm thinning the paint a little bit, not nearly as much as I did with the other colors. Just get in there with your paintbrush anywhere there's a dent or a hollow. And if you get it on parts of the wood that you don't want, you can also just go like that. So you go like that and you follow. Oh, I see. The knot. You are such an artiste. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, I see. See? And then I would put more black in the center there, but isn't that follow cool? Follow the nuts, yeah. And after all of that, which takes, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes, it's not that much work, you end up with this. I mean, can you tell, would you be able to tell it wasn't real? I had no idea it wasn't real. <laughs> and that, wait, what are we calling this project? How to create faux refinished barn wood reclaimed wood. That's exactly. Nice. That's perfect. Yeah. How to finish faux. Go. I lost it. Perfect. The end. The end. Okay.